Hello friends, today I am here with a new poem of CBSC class 10th, Mirror by Sylvia Plath. This poem gives an autobiographical account of itself and has highlighted its qualities in the poem, claiming that though certain images reflected in it might be painful to certain people at certain stages of their life. Well, it is no way responsible for causing this pain because it reflects exactly what it sees. So, in this poem, we will cover about the poet, the poem and its explanation, summary part and question answers. Let's get started. First, let's start with the introduction of the poet of this poem, Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath was born in Boston, Massachusetts in 1932 and died in 1963. She was one of the most renowned and influential poet, novelist and short story writer of the 20th century. She was married to fellow poet Ted Hughes. Plath was clinically depressed for most of her adult life and she died by committing suicide. Now, one of the interesting facts about Sylvia Plath is that at the age of 12, her IQ was recorded at around 160, which is certified as genius. Well, that is one of the interesting facts we didn't know about Sylvia Plath. And now, Plath is best known for her two published collections, The Colossus and Other Poems, and Ariel. And in 1982, she was the first poet to win the Pulitzer Prize posthumously for the collected poems. Here you can see the word posthumously, it means after the death of the originator. Which means she got the prize of Pulitzer after her death. Now, what is a Pulitzer Prize? The Pulitzer Prize is an award for achievements in newspaper and online journalism, literature and musical composition in the United States. Now, again, one of the unknown facts of Plath regarding her works was that she wrote a book of nonsense poems for children, which has been called as the Bed Book. And this book was written for the amusement of the poet's own children, which was only published posthumously in 1976. Now, let's begin with the poem and its explanation. And after each stanza, there will be a summary, so it will be easy for you people to understand the poem. So, let's get started with the poem. Now, we have the first stanza of the poem. I am silver and exact. Here, silver means the color of the mirror. And exact. Exact means accurate. I have no preconceptions. Preconceptions means expectation. So in these two lines, poet says that mirror is really shining. That's why its color is in silver and accurate. Is mein jo mirror hai, usme uska color silver bataya hua hai aur mirror apne aap se bol raha hai ki uska color silver hai and it is accurate. Accurate matlab ekdam sahi hai. And I have no preconceptions. It means it does not judge others with preconceived ideas like human beings. Mirror kehna chata hai ki wo kisi se expectation nahi rakta aur na hi kisi ko expectation deta hai. Yani ki jo mirror hai wo silver in color hai, wo har cheez sahi batata hai aur wo kisi ko expectation bhi nahi deta hai. Whatever I see, I swallow immediately. Swallow means absorb. Just as it is unmisted by love or dislike. Unmisted means without mist or clear. So in this two lines poet says that mirror absorbs whatever image is incident on it and reflects it very truly with no distortion or manipulation and it does not have any predecide ideas and does not get affected by love or dislike. 
तो मिरर जो है वो कह रहा है कि वो सारी चीजें अब्जॉर्ब कर लेता है यानी जो उसके ऊपर चीजें पड़ती हैं वो सारी अपने ऊपर ले लेता है एंड इट इज वेरी क्लियर वो हर चीज क्लियर दिखाता है और उसको किसी भी चीज से फर्क नहीं पड़ता है ना ही लव से और डिसलाइक से यानी कि मिरर जो चीज मिरर को दिखती है वो मिरर दिखाता है एज इट इज दैट्स वाई इट हैज बीन यूज अनमिस्टेड विच मीन्स क्लियर यानी विदाउट मिस्ड I am not cruel only truthful the eye of a little god for cornered cruel means inhuman yani ki jisme koi feelings nahi hoti wo bahut hi zyada cunning hota hai aur uske andar bahut zyada negativity hoti hai uska matlab hota hai cruel so mirror kehta hai ki it is not cruel mirror cruel nahi hai wo truthful hai yani ki jo cheez उसको दिखती है वो वही दिखाता है एंड वो रियलिटी दिखाता है द आई ऑफ अ लिटिल गॉड फोर कॉर्नर ये जो लाइन है दिस लाइन हैज बीन रिप्रेजेंटेड एट द फोर कॉर्नर्स ऑफ द मिरर व्हिच मींस जैसे गॉड की फोर कॉर्नर्स होती हैं जैसे वो चार दिशाओं में देख सकते हैं वैसे ही मिरर की भी फोर कॉर्नर्स है एंड वो फोर कॉर्नर्स को रियालिटी में देखता है और वो बताता है एज इट इज जो कि ट्रुथफुल होता है so in this whole mirror which is silver in color shows the exact image without any preconceptions yani ki without any expectation koi bhi ummeed ke bina wo sari pictures jo us pe padti hai wo dikhata hai the image which falls on the mirror is clear and exact as it is neither distorted or nor beautified by any likes or dislike यानी मिरर को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता विथ एनी लव और डिसलाइक वो जो रियलिटी है वही दिखाएगा एंड इट बिहेव लाइक अ आई ऑफ अ लिटिल गॉड जस्ट लाइक फोर कॉर्नर एज लाइक एन ओमनी सेन गॉड मिरर गेट्स अ मल्टी डायरेक्शनल व्यू ऑफ एवरीथिंग आई होप दिस फर्स्ट स्टैंडा इज क्लियर टू यू एंड नाउ वी विल गो टू द समरी ऑफ द फर्स्ट स्टैंडा द पोएम इज अ मिरर स्टोरी नरेटेड बाय इट it describes its physical appearance it personifies itself has no preconceived ideas and absorbs any image that comes in front of it it is clear in its vision there is no bias in its mind it is not cruel but states the truth which may be disliked by some people it is like the eye of god which sees equally in all the four directions now let's go to the second stanza most of the time meditate on the opposite wall meditate means to think deeply yani ki bahut zyada sochna और बहुत डीप में सोचना इट इज पिंक विथ स्पेकलेस आई हैव लुकड एट इट सो लॉन्ग स्पेकलेस मीन्स स्मॉल स्पॉट्स यानी कि छोटे छोटे धब्बे सो इन दिस मिरर वॉन्ट टू से दैट उसके ऑपोजिटली एक वॉल है जिसको वो मेडिटेट करता रहता है उसके बारे में सोचता है और उसको देखता रहता है and it is pink with speckless yani ki us deewar mein small spots hain jo pink color ke hain aur i have looked at it so long yani mirror usko bahut der tak dekhta rehta hai i think it is a part of my heart but it flickers flickers means quick movements quick movements matlab jo jaldi jaldi movements hoti hain usko flicker bolte hain faces and darkness separate us over and over so now in these two lines the poet is saying that the wall has been a part of the mirror only now jo deewar hai wo mirror ka ek part ban chuka hai jo flicker karta rehta hai with faces and darkness yani ki jo quick movements hote hain faces and darkness ke wo मिरर और वॉल को सेपरेट कर देता है यानी कि जो एक कनेक्शन होता है मिरर और वॉल के बीच में वो फेसेस एंड डार्कनेस आके सेपरेट कर देता है सो इन दिस स्टैंडा द पोएट सेज कि जो मिरर है वो वॉल को यानी कि जो उसके ऑपोजिट वॉल को मेडिटेट करता है यानी उसको देखता रहता है डीपली 
जिसमें पिंक स्पेकलेस हैं, स्मॉल स्पॉट्स हैं, छोटे छोटे धब्बे हैं और वो उसको बहुत देर तक देखता है आई थिंक इट इज अ पार ऑफ माई हार्ट मेरे को लगता है कि जो उसके ऑपोजिट वॉल है वो उसके हार्ट का एक पार्ट बन चुका है बट वो फ्लिकर कर जाता है जब फेसेस एंड डार्कनेस उनको सेपरेट कर देते हैं जब वो उन दोनों के बीच में आ जाता है बार बार नाउ लेट्स हैव दी समरी ऑफ सेकेंड स्टैंड द मिरर फोकसेज ऑन दी वॉल इन फ्रंट ऑफ फिट it can see the tiny pink speckles on it too it has been looking so intently at it over the years that the mirror feels it to be a part of itself this constant gaze is interrupted by faces that come in front of the mirror and by the darkness which stops images from forming on it